It's a new day and a new lineup of electric motorcycles that keep revolutionizing the way we commute, travel, and tackle the trails. In today's episode, let's go through the latest EV news within the two and three wheel segments. Have the prices come down and the ranges extended? Watch and find out. Before we proceed though, subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell. Let's get technical. Back in the day, Saunders managed to satisfy the market demand for the affordable yet high quality electric bicycles. But in 2021, the time has come for a new challenge. The next chapter in the Saunders story will be an attempt to revolutionize the class of electric motorcycles with a low cost model capable of highway riding. The Metacycle has gorgeous hollow aluminum frame design and a retro inspired halo headlight. The rear hub motor generates up to 19 horsepower at the peak, so don't be surprised to notice 80 mile per hour on speedometer. The new commuting tool by Storm Saunders can cover an 80 mile ride, weighs 200 pounds, and possesses some worthy components like Bybri brakes, a wireless charger, and a smart screen. We're getting used to the versatility of designs and shapes that electric motorcycles are adopting, but some new models still manage to impress. One of them is the apocalyptic E-Fighter V2 by Droog Moto that possesses industrial aggressive looks and a powerful electric heart. The beast rides on solid aluminum wheels wearing beefy Bridgestone all-terrain tires, and the bodywork resembles impenetrable armor. This model builds on the original E-Fighter, but improves its performance by acquiring the electric underpinning from the Zero DS motorcycle. The Z-Force brushless motor yields 46 horsepower, 80 pound-feet of torque, and a top speed of 100 miles per hour. Each bike is fully customizable, but we can still highlight standard Brembo brakes and on-the-fly adjustable suspension. The Oregon-based creator of the world's first fun utility vehicle is expanding to the motorcycle niche with its all-new Roadster model. Built on the same three-wheeler platform as other EVs from the brand, it loses the roof portion, gets a new squat windshield and features tandem seating. At the rear, the model also offers generous space for your cargo. The Roadster comes powered by a twin motor front wheel drive system that should be good for speeding to 75 miles per hour and covering 102 miles in the city. Your input in the success of the electric revolution is absolutely invaluable. So make sure to spread the word by liking this video and sharing with your friends. Let's get back to it. For the past 10 years, Energica has been actively developing and testing new road and racing tech and even got involved in the MOTI preparations. In 2021, their efforts are culminating in the release of the new performance enhanced RS modification for its entire bike range. It comes equipped with revamped electronics, new Regina 525 drivetrain and the familiar 21 kilowatt hour battery, packing 143 miles of range. All RS models offer faster 0 to 60 acceleration of 2.6 seconds and feature special badging, standard storage kits, and 4.3 inch TFT displays. Savage Motorcycles is an Australian startup that is simultaneously working on three performance versions of their first C-Series electric bike. Already unveiled as a pre-production prototype, the model gets cafe race styling and fiberglass bodywork. 
Though when it goes on sale at the end of 2021, Savage promises to add aluminum and carbon fiber body options. The C-Series bike is propelled by a compact L-shaped powertrain that includes a 7, 9, or 11 kilowatt-hour battery and a powerful electric motor with a wide 36mm belt drive. Depending on the chosen modification, it can reach 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds. The model also offers a fully adjustable Wilbur's fork, YSS rear shock, Brembo M4 brakes, and a large digital display. In order to squeeze into the high gross segment of electric bikes, the Australian ED motorcycles decided that they need a visually appealing, high performance model that will floor competitors at once. The Concept Z features street tracker inspired styling with minimalistic bodywork and couples it with lightning fast acceleration. According to the company, this bike will sprint from a standstill to 60 miles per hour in under 3 seconds, courtesy of a high performance 99 volt battery. The brushless motor peaks at 71 horsepower and 116 pound-feet of torque at the shaft, which translates to the 93 mile per hour top speed. Among other worthy features is a full suspension, 19-inch wheels, custom design cooling heatsink, and two off-center LEDs on the front shield. India's first performance-oriented electric motorcycle is displaying steady R&D progress, and the company has already posted a video with the road testing footage. The Ultraviolet F77 has a powerful sports design with three striking paint schemes, lightning, shadow, and laser. Its 34-horsepower air-cooled motor delivers 332 pound-feet of torque to the wheel, which translates to zippy 3 seconds 0 to 37 miles per hour acceleration. The range is getting close to 90 miles on a charge, but the modular battery pack can be easily swapped. A USD fork suspends the front, and a preload adjustable shock absorber cushions the ride in the rear. Last year, Ultraviolet prides itself for the superior connectivity of the bike and a smart user interface with a bright TFT display. This Netherlands-based startup has two naked models in the works, both destined to become their first offerings in the premium e-bike segment. Though the mechanical differences between the Rage and the Raw is still under wraps, we do know that the bikes feature a completely monocoque frame made of carbon fiber and other lightweight material. Among the features officially confirmed, there are performance-grade dual front brakes, full Olin suspension kit, and a standard 7-inch touchscreen. The absence of widely available specifications and official pricing has not prevented NXT from doing business, as they are already taking pre-orders with a $1,150 deposit. Equipped with several segment exclusive features, the new F9 from the Taiwan based two wheeler manufacturer is a funky looking model that is positioned as cross between a sports scooter and a motorbike. It gets a two speed automatic transmission, which definitely adds to the riding fun and improves control over the power delivery. Another highlight of the F9 is its battery pack, which is hidden under the body panels and is integrated into the frame. This allows the small bike to have a narrow and sporty profile and lowers its center of gravity. The power comes with a 13 horsepower electric motor that can clock a top speed of 68 miles per hour, while the maximum range is claimed to reach over 70 miles.
It wouldn't be long until electric motorcycles will become the new norm at the workshops of custom builders. The Venice Beach division of the Deus Ex Machina, led by Michael Woolaway, chose to become a pioneer in this transition by converting Zero's SRS into a legitimate electric cafe racer. Its bodywork was replaced with a single mold of carbon fiber composites, and the final fabrication required the expertise of aerospace engineers from Lockheed Martin. Additionally, the build features a hand-blown windscreen from Zero Gravity, race car style winglets, and a new seat from Saddleman. Moreover, the standard Zhehuan brakes were replaced with Brembo's, suspension was upgraded with Showa factory spec system, and the bike now rides on ultralight Dimeg carbon wheels. Are you impressed with the progress that electric motorcycles are making? Share your thoughts about the newcomers in the comments below and mention your favorites. Do not hesitate to support our channel and industry of electric vehicles by liking this video. Subscribe, share, and let's meet again in the future episodes.